Hello everyone, this is CypherDeck, and today we're back in Project 1999 on Fever, my 53 wizard, and we're in Cobalt Scar doing some quad kiting. Thought I'd go ahead and show you some Fever gameplay since this is a um, thing that I do usually late at night whenever I'm bored, and you may be able to tell by my voice that. It's uh, it's probably or it's three or four, maybe five o'clock in the morning. I don't even know, <laughs> to be honest. But uh, yeah, so I wanted to talk to you about the good things and the bad things about this camp. Um, make sure that you do certain things, and it can go really smooth smoothly for you. But if you don't do these things, then well, it can go pretty bad, which I have found out. So I wanted to talk uh, first about the wyvern themselves. They're really easy. Some of them are going to be green to you, but most of them are going to be blue. They're going to give you experience for a while, and the good thing is they're very easy to kill. They drop gems, hides for um, crafted armor, and other things, so just all around great. Uh, also, for four mobs at level 53, you get about 1% experience. Which, whenever you're lower level, you would think, wow, that's not very much. But when you when you get into your 50s, 1% is a lot of work uh, for most people. So, the fact that I'm able to solo and get 1% every, I don't know four minutes I mean well it's, that's not true so it's four minutes to uh, at the most to kill these guys you'll see here that I probably kill these guys in around three minutes that's not inc uh, that's including pulling getting them round up and then finally actually starting to cast on them because I'll cast as soon as the spell comes back up to do my AoE and the mana use on the spell really isn't that bad. It's 360 mana. Your snare probably is like 100 to 200 mana. I don't really remember. And it it's really very fast work. Now, as a wizard, you would guess medding is a really long time. But if you really want to just get... Um, some fast experience, maybe 1 or 2%, and then go. Well, you could do that probably in a total of 8 minutes with a full bar of mana and a harvest in between. That said, that doesn't happen here. <laughs> I um, I do two rounds in, in the same mana bar, but I end up running out of mana. So that's, that's not a good thing. Um, so negatives. Um, one negative is if you, and luckily this, is, this hasn't happened to me here, but it has happened to me on other, um, on original EverQuest. And um, what can happen is if you snare and it's too close to you and, um, and all the mobs aren't rounded up, it will snare you. And then you're going to get beat on by whatever mob didn't get snared. So that's not good because it only snares four mobs. Uh, and if you're one of those uh, people being casted on, then that's, that's never a good thing. That said, it is a very fast timer. At least uh, the level 51 spell is. So I wouldn't uh, have, um, I don't think you should have any issues with that. Uh, the other thing is, is where I'm going right now, uh, you'll see there's going to be a Cobalt Drake, and they path up and down this area. So whenever you're pulling, you need to make sure that you bypass those Drakes so that they don't aggro, because they are friendly with the uh, Wyvern. Um, another thing you need to be very careful of is the names never pull the names like this area right here it has four spawns but because the name is up i'm not going to pull it uh someone else might be brave enough to but i'm not going to just because of the fact that number one it's a faction hit number two it's a very hard mob 
and number three it's a caster uh, so definitely don't touch those the thing though with the cobalt drakes they can be pulled in a quad uh, for a wizard you just have to make sure that you've get everything rounded up really fast snared really fast and then kill it really fast because they are casters but if you have your um, your rune on you you should be fine for a good amount of time before you actually were to succumb to them killing you through casting. So I, I wouldn't really worry about that too much. Um, if there's no other mobs around, definitely go ahead and pull them in your kite. Probably wouldn't pull more than one. So one of the things I have to say is whenever I was pulling here earlier... I was trying to get around a drake because I already had four mobs on me. If I got the fifth one, then what I would have to do is I'd have to try to get the cobalt drake rooted after I snared my four mobs. If the cobalt drake got in the middle of the four mobs, that's a whole other thing. So it's just one big problem I didn't want to have to deal with. That said, I went right off the side. Um, like Right over on the right side right now. Um, and that side is a sheer cliff. You'll just fall straight down. So make sure that whenever you're pulling, whenever you're moving your mobs around, whatever it is, actually just before you even start to kill, make sure you have Levitate on because Levitate will help you a whole lot in this area, especially since you don't have very much room to move around in any way whenever it comes to trying to get around those drakes. And I think that's really it. I mean, the killing here isn't too too bad. As you can see there, there's another wizard killing, and he has a, a drake. He's not going to die. He's he's fine. So it's, it's not um, something that you can't do. So just have fun with it. Also, druids can come here too. I do it with a druid. Um, the only thing I have to say about that is if the druid is the one who's pulling with snare, don't cast on the mobs until the druid is about to cast their second um, AoE. Because if you cast after their first AoE, more likely of you getting aggro on one mob or two mobs, then the, two, the group is split. And it just is more, it's mana wasted because you have a spell that hits four mobs. Yeah, that's great. But if you're only hitting two of those mobs and the other person is having to hit their two, then you're just wasting both your yours mana and that's more downtime that didn't need to be required. So if you do with even another wizard make sure that they've casted at least two spells before you cast yours we were able to kill so fast because it was me and them and they do exactly the same amount of damage as i do at 53 that's going to change though i believe at level 54 because i get a new low mana cost um target aoe so we'll see how that all goes but really, guys, I just wanted to give you an update on Fever specifically because I haven't played them in videos very much. And I was looking back through messages and everything that was being said was that, number one, you guys liked Fever. Number two, that you missed him. And um, so I, I felt that I'll give you an update. He's 53 gonna probably just solo or duo until he's uh 54 55 probably at 54 whenever i get that new spell and get some buffer i'm gonna go ahead and try out uh burning woods i believe because i feel that's going to be the next uh area kill giants or wasps i've heard are really good as well so and those can take you up to level fifth uh, level 60 i believe so anyway guys hopefully you enjoyed if you have any questions or want me to show you anything else on any of my other characters please let me know in the comments below like subscribe and hey i got a patreon if you want to do that too but anyway guys thank you so much for watching this is cypher deck peace out